our state, California, it's being impacted heavily on its sales tax. And because of that, one of the largest failures our state, our CSU system, is being consequently impacted by that as well. Now, now let me just allow me to scale, scale that down a little bit for you. On our campus, we've had tuition increases for a couple years now. 33%, 10%, it's very likely we're gonna have an increase again. Now, I understand there's budget cuts and there's gonna be increases. But you have to know that from 2000 to 2008, the fees in CSUs and the UCs have doubled to its students and to its families. Boo! Therefore, I wanna say, this is why we're here today. We're living in a very, very critical time of our college careers, and our state is experiencing one of the most critical times in its history. And us students who are being heavily impacted by this, we must unite, and we must, and I allow me to reiterate that again, we must to raise our voices, to show our demands. A lot of you guys say, what can we do about it? And that's going to be the second question I'm going to answer you guys here today. What can we do about it? You know, I've, I've seen this comment on Facebook page for this rally. And there's a brilliant student who gave me the suggestion that if you guys want this budget issue to be solved, you have to vote those people out of their seats, and you have to vote those legislators who support higher ads into those seats. <laughs> Thank you very much, because that is a wonderful suggestion, and I completely agree with that. How many years are I going to take, though? Two? Three? Four? That's going to be a very, very long-term strategy that each one of you guys who are standing here today must consider to tell your kids that when voting, when voting times comes, we have to make sure that the, one, the ones who are voting into the seats are the ones who are considering our interests. That's right. That is going to be our long-term long -term strategy that each one of us must take on. What about the midterm? Yeah. I know a lot of you guys probably just took your midterms. You probably did pretty well on that. But what's going to be the midterm strategy yeah. to solve <laughs> this issue right here? And that, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, it's to talk to legislators who are sitting in those seats right now. It's to demonstrate to them and show to them what are the policies and how these policies are impacting, impacting our lives. To them, this could be numbers, one, two, ten, zero. But to us, this is our livelihood. This is our future. I'm not sure if Dr. Ortiz is here today, but I really want to say I want to commend him. As a great leader of our university, I think he's taking a very, very strong initiative in hosting these meetings with the legislators and inviting the students to talk to them. Because I can guarantee you one thing, the voice of the mass here today, it's way stronger than the voice of a hand just by himself. Woo! And ladies and gentlemen, allow me to remind you that this is gonna be the midterm strategy we all have to take. And this is gonna be the phase two of this Change for Change campaign, which will be introduced to you very, very soon. Now, on this campus, Cal Poly Pomona, what are some of the short-term actions, the immediate actions we must take on? I'm pretty sure y'all remember last summer when the summer classes were canceled one week before it starts. Study in! Oh. Woo! Boo! Not very nice, wasn't it? Who can tell no. me was that enough time? No! No! no. no. And I'm pretty sure you all aware that just two weeks ago, another new fee, 2.9% convenience charge, was placed on credit cards for registration fees. No. And it's gonna implement it starting next week. Oh, not enough time! Not enough time, right? Oh. Not enough time! Oh. No! Now, what else should do we have? I want to tell you guys that right now, many majors and many programs are on the verge of being eliminated very, very soon. Oh. No! And my biggest fear as a Cal Poly student, it's the same short-term notice happens on those programs. 
That's what I fear the most in the future. The short-term notice is going to come one after another. And I want to tell you guys, I want to urge you guys, because we need time, right? We need time. Yeah! yeah! Woo! Right. Right. That's exactly the reason we're doing this rally today. You know, as a student, I understand that our school is, is in a very, very big economic hole. And it needs to drop, to fundraise, to get funding, to keep the service which is providing today. But as a student, I also know that when you're making these decisions, we need time. We need time.